Oh boy, what do we have here? I just keep throwing away all my disposable income, don't I? <laughs> Let's see here. STP Extended Life 3506XL. Engineered to last for 10,000 miles. There's the uh, comparable things it compares to. Now this one they're comparing to the Fram Tough Guard, which is the middle of the road Fram filter, but I think once we take this apart, you'll see it's kind of on a different league. So there's that. There it is in Spanish. Oh, dearie me. Looky here. This is very rare that you see on oil fillers, especially one that's, as I'll show you the price in a little bit, under $10. A silicone. Man, that thing's huge. Look at that. It's a big old thing. Silicone gasket. Silicone come from the uh, silicon carning, as you can tell by the uh, red color. Wow, that's really cool. Here's the base plate. Pretty much the same amount of inlet holes. Pretty garden variety stuff. It's got a really nice finish on it. The back's even a lot better done on this nicer filter. There's not really any burrs or anything to get cut on if you're gonna cut one of these open for yourself. It's got a pretty good amount of heft to it. We'll pull this out. What the hell? This thing's like almost translucent. And look at all this writing on here. So here's your anti-drain back valve. Wow. You can tell it's a silicone, which is a fancy plastic by it doing that. It's, I swear, it's, it's almost like translucent. It's weird. It's, it looks a lot brighter in color than it does here on camera. So there's that, that's pretty good. The filter element, there is a absolute shit ton of pleats on here. Look at this. Just an absolute crap ton. Pardon my little desk chair here, it's a little squeaky today. Now this one isn't glued, it's actually uh, crimped together with this metal crimp here. Uh, I can tell just by the way it looks and by the way it feels. This is a synthetic blend media, so it's kind of middle of the road. So it's not just standard, standard cellulose, it's a blend between standard cellulose and the synthetic stuff. So it is a lot, it is a little bit better than the base model filter. It's really shiny too. I think they actually uh, dip these in zinc and galvanize them, which I think is kind of weird, but you see it's got a nice little sheen to it. Have a look inside here. There's a metal center tube and there's that uh, valve in there like I was telling you about earlier. Let's, uh, let's take a look and see how good well that valve actually works. That thing's got hardly any resistance at all. This one's plastic on the bottom. You can hear it kind of snapping around in there. This one's plastic. It goes a lot smoother than the cheaper filter. So there's that. What else we got in here? Well, there's your spring. It's a little, it's a little weird. It's actually like painted silver. And here's the outside casing of it, by the way. I totally forgot to show you that at the beginning of the video, but there's that. Made in China, it's this, it's a textured black paint. There's that. And inside there's nothing. Ah, who knows, maybe this will be thicker. Let's take a look. Uh, no, it's not. It's still the standard. But hey. How much does this thing cost me again? $8.99. So $9 for, I would say more, a little bit more than a premium filler. They, I, I find it weird that they kind of cheaped out on the actual filter, but they give you things like a silicone uh, gasket. I find that kind of weird, but I would definitely not have an, a single issue running this for 7,500, 8,000 miles in a car. I don't know about 10,000 miles. I think it's a little bit wishful thinking. 
But hey, for nine bucks, a readily available filter, it's shockingly made in China and not junk. Wow, look at that, huh? All right, hey, thanks for watching.